words and the law poem english literal is always right in the matters of the law but always wrong in the matters of the law when dealing with things that matter not that is the externals quarrels must be ended through a clear edict no matter how ad hoc for those are the matters of the human attended to by the human changeable law when dealing with the matters of the spirit that is the only ones that really matter the literal will always lead one astray for the immortal and unchanging law has existed much much before man ran riot on the face of the earth the law is timeless the law cannot be defined cannot be laid down by human by us it can perhaps only be understood in a measure and since we lack a tool to really understand we will always approach closer or stray farther from it but at the law never arrive thus the words will only corrupt our understanding of it any words will only seduce us away the law can be understood only in being one with it only on losing one inside the one can one ever be right for the only good is the law hence strive not to confine the law in the capsule of human understanding the law is and always will be above and beyond the collective human mind except that the law does not exist for us indeed we 
would not were it not for the law except that in making the law approachable to those that cannot or do not wish to contemplate upon it you will only corrupt their minds and make it ever more difficult for them to get closer to it allow them to be a little farther away from the law for in any effort to codify it for them you will only push them even farther away for they will think that in following the words or merely by mouthing them they will have arrived at the law and thus strive no further therefore get no closer do not if you love the law try to make it any easier any simpler than it can be no ritualization no ossification no fossilization can preserve life nor in the image of the immortal that we so assiduously paint in our minds and worry not for the souls not enlightened by you you are not in any considerable measure much closer to the law than they are or will be they will still live out their lives as you will yours as human kind its and the law will still rule unaffected by any other intelligence understanding it or not if you wish to just help them contemplate a little more a little deeper with a little more desire and love content yourself with providing pointers with sharing your experience of what you think mistakenly or otherwise of having gotten closer to the law speak of your frailty of where you think you went wrong of the great tragedy that befalls one when swearing by the multifarious indoctrinations that dog the way to the real freedom real oneness with the law the real responsibility that you hold in trust for your fellow bipeds is to disabuse them of their belief 
in their own centrality to the universe and to help them think on their own which is the only way to possibly think right. In the matters of the food of the mind, of the spirit and soul, of one's very heart, like in those of the stomach, the best way is not to give any handouts, except when total starvation is otherwise unavoidable. Teach them and help them learn, but allow them to earn their own religion. If you do this, O wise, you will have fulfilled your destiny, your duty towards them, towards humankind, towards the law.